morning. This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of Space Station Live this Friday, August 23rd. For those of you joining us now, we are inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team has uh, been keeping track of the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 36 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is Flight Director Matt Abbott and that's serving as CAPCOM NASA astronaut Jack Fisher, who is relaying all ground messages up to the crew. And now aboard the International Space Station, his commander of the complex, Russian cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov, flight engineers Russian cosmonaut Alexander Mazurkin, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy, here on the left-hand side, and then joining them there on the right are Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurichikin, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano, and NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg. And now let's have a look back at this week in space. On Monday, following their 7-hour, 29-minute spacewalk last Friday, the longest ever conducted by a pair of Russian cosmonauts, flight engineers Fyodor Yurichikin and Alexander Mazurkin spent their day on Monday reviewing procedures and installing equipment on their Orlon spacesuits to get ready for a second excursion, excursion later in the week. Yurichikin and Mazurkin also participated in a debriefing with Russian spacewalk specialists to discuss last Friday's spacewalk. Then on Monday, flight engineer Karen Nyberg had spent her morning working in the uh, Japanese Kibo laboratory, removing the nano-step experiment from the solution crystallization observation facility and replacing it with the ice crystal 2 experiment. Nyberg had also prepared new test samples for the advanced colloids experiment, also known as ACE, that is housed inside the microgravity science glove box of the station's destiny laboratory. Results from ACE will help researchers understand how to optimize stabilizers to extend the shelf life of products like laundry detergent, paint, ketchup, and even salad dressing. And on Monday, flight engineers Chris Cassidy and Luca Parmitano had began their day by weighing themselves with the Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device, also known as the SLAM-D. Parmitano then had moved on to routine uh, environmental health monitoring work as he measured sound levels throughout the orbiting complex. Cassidy, meanwhile, on a Monday, had set up a trio of bowling ball-sized free-flying satellites known as Synchronize, Position, Hold, Engage, Reorient Experimental Satellites, or SPHERES, for another round of tests. Working inside the Kibo lab, Cassidy had put the robots through their uh, paces for a checkout of a new graphical user interface to enable human supervised control of those satellites. Cassidy also later had uh, observed another free flying object, this one floating outside the orbiting complex near a uh, docked progress cargo vehicle. He uh, reported the unidentified item to Mission Control in Houston, captured video of it as well. Russian uh, ground controllers had identified it as an antenna cover from the Zvezda service module. Then on Tuesday, flight engineer Chris Cassidy had collected water samples from a condensate line in the Tranquility node and packaged the samples for return to Earth and further analysis. Flight engineer Luca Parmitano of the European Space Agency had spent some time on Tuesday with a couple of cleaning tasks of the uh, crew quarters and also onboard air intake and exhaust ducts, as well as the uh, fan and airflow sensor. Parmitano then performed an ultrasound on uh, Cassidy for the spinal ultrasound investigation. Medical researchers have observed that astronauts grow up to 3% taller during their long duration missions aboard the uh, station and return to the normal height when back on Earth. That uh, spinal ultrasound investigation seeks to understand the mechanism and impact of this change while advancing medical imaging technology by testing a smaller and more portable ultrasound device aboard the station. On Tuesday, Cassidy also took a break to talk with the reporters from the Military Times and WBUR-FM in Boston. Cassidy had discussed discussed uh, life and work aboard the orbiting complex 
and describe the career path to becoming an astronaut. Then Tuesday, working inside the Japanese Kibo module, flight engineer Karen Nyberg spent her time replacing the infrared imager of the fluid physics experiment facility. She then rounded out her day with the uh, surface telerobotics experiment as she remotely controlled the K-10 rover at the Ames Research Center in California using a special program on a laptop computer that provided live video from the rover and virtual terrain. Nyberg downlink task plans to the rover, monitor the execution of those plans, and handle contingencies as needed. Meanwhile, back on Earth on Tuesday, NASA introduced its new class of space explorers that has officially reported for duty here at the Johnson Space Center. Four men and four women recently selected as the 2013 astronaut class took center stage on Tuesday as uh, NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden introduced the eight astronaut candidates and answered questions from media about their selection and training as well as their support to future space missions. Then on Wednesday, flight engineers Fyodor Yurichikin and Alexander Mazurkin had completed a final timeline review of the task they would perform during Thursday's spacewalk. Meanwhile, flight engineer Chris Cassidy worked on a Wednesday to replace the multifiltration units inside the water recovery system. The water recovery system recycles condensation and urine into drinkable water for the crew, this uh, reducing the amount of fresh water that might need to be uh, sent to the crew aboard res resupply ships. Cassidy then performed another ultrasound on flight engineer Luca Parmitano for the uh, spinal ultrasound investigation. And with an eye toward the return to Earth in uh, just three weeks, Cassidy joined Masurkin and uh, Commander Pavel Vinogradov for a fit check of the Cosbeck seat liners of their uh, Soyuz TMA-08M spacecraft they will ride home in for a uh, parachute-assisted landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan on the morning of September 11, local time. Also on Wednesday, flight engineer Karen Nyberg spent part of her day in the uh, Japanese Kibo module setting up a commercial payload. She also replaced a rope on the advanced resistive exercise device, just one of several exercise devices the uh, station's residents can use for their daily two-hour exercise regimen to combat the loss of muscle mass and bone density experienced by long-duration crews. Last but not least, on Wednesday, Parmitano had exchanged a uh, test sample cartridge in the solidification and quench furnace for uh, another round of data collection. This uh, research Furnace provides three heater zones to uh, ensure accurate temperature profiles and maintain a sample's required temperature variations throughout the solidification process. It is uh, one part of the material science research rack that allows for on-orbit study of a variety of materials, including metals, ceramics, semiconductor crystals, and glasses. Then yesterday on Thursday, two Russian cosmonauts wrapped up a five-hour, 58-minute spacewalk, completing that spacewalk at 12.32 p.m. Central Time. The uh, pair had completed the replacement of a laser communications experiment with a new platform for a small optical camera system, the installation of new spacewalk aids, and an inspection of antenna covers. Meanwhile, for the duration of Thursday's spacewalk, Cassidy and Station Commander Pavel Vinogradov were isolated to the uh, Poisk module and their Soyuz TMA-08M spacecraft, while uh, flight engineers Karen Nyberg of NASA and Luca Parmitano of the European Space Agency were free to move about the U.S. segment of the complex. Nyberg on Thursday had spent much of her day working with the InSpace 3 experiment, which examines colloidal fluids classified as smart materials transitioning to a uh, solid-like state in the presence of a magnetic field. Promontano, meanwhile, had uh, rerouted an exhaust port on the Amin swing bed. This uh, technology demonstration is testing a smaller, more efficient carbon dioxide 
removal system. And today, on Friday, Yuri Chikin and Mazurkin had participated in a post-spacewalk debrief with specialists on the ground. They are uh, performing several post-spacewalk tasks to properly stow away their Orlon spacesuits, equipment, and tools that were used in yesterday's excursion. They had also opened the hatch to the European ATV-4 cargo ship that had been closed to support yesterday's spacewalk out of the Piers docking compartment airlock. Nyberg, meanwhile, today had spent much of her day working with the InSpace 3 experiment. Again, that experiment examines colloidal fluids classified as smart materials transitioning to a solid-like state in the presence of a uh, magnetic field. Also, uh, today on Friday, Flight Engineer Parmitano had been busy with the recycled tank transfers to tanks in the docked European Space Agency cargo ship ATV-4. He uh, then spent some time in Columbus to collect saliva examples as part of ongoing human research studies. While Flight Engineer Chris Cassidy performed some maintenance to the water recovery system with a uh, recycled tank changeout. Again, the wa water recovery system converts urine, sweat, and condensation into drinkable water for the crew. And each of the crew members will put in their daily two hours of exercise using onboard gym equipment that includes a station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The crew will then wrap up their day with a final daily planning conference with the ground and is scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. After the crew goes to sleep tonight, robotic ground controllers at Mission Control Houston will send commands to move the uh, mobile transporter rail car to the correct work site for the walk-off of the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm from Harmony's power and data grapple fixture to a small fixture on the mobile base system. This work comes in advance of preparations for the ground-commanded robotic movement of space parts from the exposed pallet brought to the station back on the uh, HTV-4 cargo ship and which now reside on the front porch of the Japanese Kibo module to the proper locations on the truss of the station. And that's it for this week in space. This is Mission Control Houston.